Hello, Just Too Good here, and today I'm opening up 20 of what may be the rarest LEGO minifigure series. You could even consider it the first LEGO minifigure series. These are Coca-Cola LEGO blind bags from 2002. Now, they also had these in 2001 in a similar style. I don't know if I would call those straight up blind bags. They looked almost like stencil bags with LEGO Studios in Coca-Cola. This one is more focused on the football line of the time where you have all these separate players, some of which I have reviewed these poly bags on the channel before. But this is such an interesting series I know so little of. I've heard that it was a promotion with Coca-Cola, maybe sending in bottle caps or something like that. Though I have seen images where these are just plopped onto Coke bottleneck, so that could have just been the promotion. But if you have any more info on this Japanese series, please let me know in the comments. This was pretty expensive to get. I got it from my friend, the Pro Lego Channel, so thanks to him. But let's open up each of these 20 packs. I was looking for an easy point of opening, and it's this little corner part right here. And inside, oh, it wasn't as easy as I thought. We have a poly bag. And this is our first build, okay, not exactly a figure, but uh, <laughs> a little fire extinguisher on a stretcher, I'll take it. Poly bag number 4467. Which, this is just a stretcher and a fire extinguisher build, which is two pieces, so three pieces all together. Nothing too mind-blowing here. But yeah, I definitely want to throw these into the next every minifigure opening. Uh, and again, if you if you have any more info on that Studios one that is not exactly like a blind bag, I'm looking to buy one for that specific opening video. But if I don't find that, it's not going to hold me back from doing this huge opening. Anyways, we have two soccer balls, which is uh, Polybag 4470. And that's just a soccer ball piece that was used around the time. Love getting those pieces, and two of the one poly bag is pretty neat. All right, next pack. Let's see. It's weird, this opening is on the left. But it is. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> A little drink section. Poly bag 4468. So here's the drink dispenser with those two white cups right there, <laughs> and this base bottom piece. Of course, when dealing with rare blind bags from LEGO, Team GB comes to mind, which was uh, the 2012 Olympic series. This one might be more rare. I, I think it's more rare in general. It's just less uh, sought after because these are just repackaged, or not repackages, but the packaging for these specific poly bags, which the poly bags themselves aren't hard to find on eBay or whatever. It's more of the blind bag packaging they're in. Regardless, we have Polybag 4461, which is two seats. And this is another simple build. You can see just the structure at the bottom. Just these two seats. I also forgot to say, with the drink dispenser build, it seems like these stickers were meant for that. So it's actually really nice to get like an official Coca-Cola sticker from Lego there. I don't know if I'll apply these to that drink dispenser build unless I get a second one from this opening though. So far, so good with those four unique builds, but damn it, I want my minifigures. Let's see. Oh, this looks like it might be a minifigure. Oh, no, never mind. Another drink build, but this is like a drink uh, little carry cart. So this is actually a hot dog cart, which I, I didn't think it was at first. I thought it was a drink dispenser. This design has an opening top part right here, where you can see it holds the ketchup and mustard. Inside, they actually give you uh, the hot dog wiener piece in red, which is really common now. But getting it in that bottom color, that's awesome. That's something that does not come in many sets nowadays. And then, uh, with this little bit of a faulty closing feature, I mean, it's something we've seen in a lot of sets, but just with how small this is, that top part does come off once in a while. I just wanted to show that uh, the Coca-Cola sticker comes with this build too. But it would have to be across those pieces right there. So again, I don't think I'm going to apply this unless I get an extra one. And it's weird because the packaging doesn't even apply it, but whatever. <laughs> Anyways, let's see which one is next. Okay, so we're doing good so far. No repeats. But, oh, speak of the devil. We got our first repeat, the two soccer balls. I'll probably keep the repeats sealed in the poly bag. But with the blind bags, let's see the next one. Oh no. Oh, okay, there we go. It is. Oh, is this another two 
Come on. The same one twice in a row. All right, next pack. And... Oh, oh, I thought it was a player for one second. We just got another one of the hot dog cart, which is actually a pretty cool build, so I'll, I'll keep that one sealed too. Come on, this is supposed to be the first Lego minifigure series. I need to get a minifigure. Oh, did I just summon a mini? No, <laughs> is this just like the most common one, damn it. Also, I forgot to know, I have done a review on at least one of them on the channel, but there's a gold and silver mystery minifigure in this 30 minifigure slash build series. Kind of wish they did that nowadays, but then again, we know how Mr. Gold was. Then they did it that one time with the mystery minifigure of what a series 17, I think it was. And that one was uh, just a highwayman, but they like blacked it out for some reason. Anyways, let's see what's inside. Oh, yes, our first minifigure, Coca Cola player. That Coca Cola jacket is freaking awesome. I love getting brands on printed shirts in Lego. And he does have that classic mustached face right there. All right, so we're halfway there. We got 10 left. I want to pull more of those freaking minifigures. Come on, give me some power of the bricks Lego. It's like the power of the cards from Yu Gi Oh! The heart of the cards, whatever it's called. Uh, I've been playing Yu Gi Oh! Master Group so much. Oh my gosh, okay, two soccer balls. We get it. All right, let's check this one. Come on, give me one of those old minifigures. Okay, I'll take this. I'll take this because this is the crate piece in red, which I'm not sure I have many of that piece in red. I actually really like this build, like just a small little Coke barrel crate build. The build using that really nice piece to get in a red there. You just don't see that piece in that color too often. And then six of those cone pieces, which are just the perfect color for Coke bottles. So there's still so many builds to go along with. Actually, the back here is the only part that shows where the stickers specifically go. I'm noticing right here that that crate does have a Coke sticker, but I'm not seeing it in the packaging. I have to do a double check. But anyways, next pack. Let's see what we got. And it is... Oh my gosh, this is just like, like really the, the most common one. It's like Pro Lego Channel secretly freaking felt these up and just gave me the one with two balls. Damn it. Okay, come on. Now I can't even open up this one. Come on. Come on. There you go. There. Oh my gosh. This is literally like the most common freaking one. Stop. Okay. Watch it be another two soccer balls. Oh no. Oh no. We actually got another player. I'll take it. I mean, he has the same pieces as the last minifigure, except for the face, but damn it, I'll take it. <laughs> that nice Coca-Cola torso. So that was Polybag 4449. Let's see the next one. Oh gosh, this is going to be a tough one to open. Oh, 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 oh I saved that one, but it feels like it's too soccer rolls. It feels like it's too freaking, damn it. Which one is this? Oh, it's an actual goal. No wonder they had these, these pieces at the bottom. Which, this is probably back 4460, oh, it looks like. So here's the build, a very simple goal with a flag at the top there. Nothing too special here. But of course it is quite fun pushing those Lego soccer balls through the goal. <laughs> All right, we only got like four bags left. So let's see how many more minifigures I can pull from these. Okay. It is, uh-oh, is that two bowls? Oh, no, no. Just the uh, uh, Coca-Cola little crate, which since I accidentally already opened it, I'll put the sticker on there. Yeah, that Coke sticker actually looks really cool on this small build. All right. Oh, I thought it was three more packs to go, but this was an empty pack. It might just be two more packs to go. Uh-oh. And open this one up. Second to last pack, it seems. Oh, another Coke bottle. Okay. And our last pack. It is. Uh oh. Kind of scared. Give me a minifigure. Let's end with a minifigure. Aww. It's just another stretcher. So here are all the unique builds aside from the two Coke crates we have going on there. With those two minifigures, love the Coke torsos. 
Uh, the two soccer balls, which I got eight of those. I think maybe even nine, including that one. The goal right here is actually a cute little build. The stands for the fans. Really like the hot dog build. Really the food service stuff is, is the most awesome stuff, especially with the crate there. You have a little uh, drink dispenser at the back and then a stretcher with a fire hydrant. Really strange series we have going on here. If you can say this is the first Lego minifigure series, if you can say this is the rarest blind bag series, if you can say whatever the heck this forgotten monstrosity is, that's not bad. It's not bad. It's actually a really clever idea. I wish they could do this nowadays where they would put random poly bags and little foil packs like this. But the closest we got to that, of course, are the mystery minifigure blind bags. Regardless, let me know what you guys think of this interesting series in the comments below. Subscribe for more rare LEGO content. Check out my yearly series where I open up every LEGO minifigure pack, and we're going to be doing it one this year with one of these, so that's going to be a lot of fun. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.